Yes, so you need section 6, research, 6.1, introduction. No serious activity can go on any, uh, anywhere without research. So research is very, is very important for human activity. There's nothing that can happen without research, especially in modern times. One has to go along, to along some lines, see what happens, carry out this investigation. Yes, we can say another term for it is investigation. Carry out an investigation and look what one is able to do. That is research. Without research, human activities will have been still, will have saved in the way they were in the dark ages, but thanks to research. Let's move on. Meaning of research. Research can be described as the, as the organized search for new knowledge based on scientific methodology. Organized, remember, organized search for knowledge. That is research. So it must, one of the characteristics, I'm sure the basic characteristic is that it must be organized. Without that, you cannot have this research. Unlike before, when most discoveries of, of a science or progress or chance, most discoveries of science today are dependent on organized science by scientists operating in different organizations, universities, etc. We mentioned that before, before now, research mostly or uh, discoveries were products of chance. They are products of chance. Somebody chance, chance occurrence could be akin to us, what we call a uh, we call it probability, chance of correct, yes, probability. Nowadays, we don't depend on probabilities again. We don't depend on chance of correct, we depend on research. This has resulted in tremendous increase in the number of discoveries and inventions. So types of research, basic or fundamental research. The second one is applied research. So we move to A, basic or fundamental research. This is carried out with the aim of gaining new knowledge and increasing the weight of the knowledge available to the scientific community. It is targeted primarily towards gaining knowledge for its own sake. This one, this type of research, does not solve practical problems. Just we do it to generate knowledge for the sake of knowledge. It doesn't have any practical solution to any issue. The one that has practical solution to issues is the applied research, which is which on the other hand the type of research is research design that seeks to solve a specific problem or provide innovative solutions to so issues affecting an individual, group, or society. In many cases, this is that approach requires empirical method. You now see that's why I say this one is practical, the wrong one is theoretical. It employs empirical methods in order to practical problems. Let's move on.